both this and Onion Trade were written and storyboarded by one person. And considering how weird the art style and writing of Onion Trade was, that's not a good sign. Girl, I got a boo-boo. And why would you feel the need to suddenly announce that? Also, is it just me or is this the first time so far that the music here is really unfitting? Either Garnet is somehow pushing herself forward so much that her velocity stays the same, or physics are bullshit. In this shot, the colors on Amethyst's tank top are the opposite of what they're supposed to be. I find it incredibly hard to believe that Amethyst could get a hit in on this thing, but Garnet couldn't. In Steven's Lion, the door to fish stew pizza is on the far right. But now in this episode, they moved it to the far left. Give me one down low. That's up high. Puffy, you're so loud. Ah, the knife Nanafwa was just holding disappears in this shot. She's on bread. I get this is how her voice is supposed to sound, but couldn't they make Nanafwa sound like she gives at least half of a shit? I think I hear all of our cell phones ringing. Ganga, your hearing is so good. Garnet's middle finger isn't colored in in this shot. <laughs> Mysterious. I don't exactly see what the point of laughing there was. I'll take care of everything! That's a sign that you should run. <laughs> Is this the right address? If the address given was anything other than giant beach behind the mountain near Beach City, I have to question Steven's direction giving skills. Also, I have my doubts that Kofi would be so quick to agree to doing this. Unless Nanafwa forced him into this, I'd think that he wouldn't want to do anything like this until his sign is fixed at the very least. The shop is closed today because it's broken. That sounds like a you problem if you're closing the shop entirely over one broken sign. Pearl. That is not a summer outfit. Either that magazine is completely out of touch or Pearl just ignored it entirely. Also, Pearl's bare feet are just... Yeesh. Why are her toes so tiny? We don't need to eat. Oh, you young people and your experimental diets. I am much older than you. Also, Amethyst was eating a burger in this shot, but in this next shot, both it and the plate it was on disappear. Garnet's palm is facing away from the temple in this shot, only for it to be turned the other way in the next shot. Not only that, but this is Garnet's left hand, when in the next shot, it's her right hand. And not only that, but in this shot, Garnet's right hand not only has the wrong gemstone on it, it's oriented the entirely wrong way. Wow, it's almost as if this episode was storyboarded by only one person or something. Also, Amethyst's lips are way too big in this shot. I haven't played in ages, but I bet I could whoop all your butts. That's the spirit. Why the hell is Steven turned away from Nanafwa when he responds to her? Jennifer, if you touch that boy, you're grounded. Whoa! Daddy, you cheating! Why does the glass come out as this spiky crystal looking thing? Not only should the sand that was heated cover a wider surface area, but I doubt the sand that flew from the crater would come out to be that specific of a shape. The Hollow Pearls before and since this episode don't have pupils, so why do they have them here? Why are you cheating so much? You cheated first. Yeah, because that totally makes the cheating okay. How is this ball continually rolling this smoothly on sand? We should win because we're the best. Y'all yeah, cheated. Why do they just not care about this sudden wind, especially the gems? I was trying to get everyone together, but now everyone's in danger. Yes, because that was definitely Steven's fault. Why even write this part when it's not only quickly dropped, but it's a nonsense sentiment to begin with? Amethyst, turn yourself into a ball! Jenny! Roll Amethyst to the net and then hold on! How are Steven and Nanafwa both in sync with the exact same plan in seconds? Not only that, but why are they the only ones actually trying to do something and the gems are just sitting around with their thumbs up their asses? The Earth's protectors, ladies and gentlemen, being outshone by an old woman and a 13-year-old child. Also, this is one hell of a convoluted plan. You'd think they could just try something as simple as Steven and Nanafwa distract the pufferfish and Garnet does that full force jumping attack. But no, it's gotta be a 15,000 step solution for some reason. Yep, Amethyst is dead. She has to be, she just completely disappeared. Over the course of these five seconds, Steven and Nanafwa somehow get further away from the net despite constantly running towards it. Also, in that first shot, the cord is still there, but then after the net is moved, it disappears. We really appreciate it, right guys? Okay, yes, thanks. And... 
What were we banned from again? <laughs>